everyone, today I'm going to be doing a showdown between two different products, and it is going to be between the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Foundation. So before we get into it, I'm just going to let you know there is some stupid construction going on right next to me, and they're using a jackhammer that sounds like they're trying to crack through like the core of the earth, so I apologize if this video ends up being choppy because I don't know when they're going to be drilling, so just bear with me. So to start out this review and kind of showdown and comparison of the two products, I'm going to tell you about the two products and then what I kind of like and don't like about them and which one I feel like you should spend your money on. So I have used both of the products substantially for more than just a few times. I have used them for a um, couple of months. So obviously the packaging is very similar between the two products. The Revlon Color Stay is priced at $13. You can get it at all drugstores. And then the MAC Pro Longwear is priced at $31. So kind of a flip with the numbers, so $13 and $31. The Revlon and MAC carry the same amount of foundation in each bottle. They are these glass bottles with black tops. The MAC one has a pump and the Revlon does not. So this one is a one ounce as well as the MAC. They both have extremely similar packaging and are super, you know, these, these nice glass bottles. First is going to be the MAC foundation and I am in the shade NC20 and I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of what the actual consistency and the product looks like when you are using it and I'm going to use the back of my hand because I don't want to put this on my face and I will tell you later why. <laughs> so then I will show you the Revlon Color Stay foundation and I am in the shade 300 and I will show you the consistency which is a little bit more liquidy or viscous than the MAC, meaning the MAC takes more time to work and blend out. And you can see the finish when I am rubbing this onto my hand versus the MAC one. You can kind of still see the foundation and the Revlon is just a bit more blended in. And yes, I know I'm doing it with my fingers and not a brush or a sponge. So the consistency between these two, I would say that the MAC is a thicker, more creamy product, like it's not going to slide down your hand. And the Revlon Color Stay is still, it's still a like thick creamy formula, but it's not going to be as thick of a consistency as the MAC. So let's talk about the MAC one first. Now, I kind of put a few notes to read off to you so I know what I'm saying and remember everything, but this is a medium coverage, which means that if you have more of a dry skin texture, I wouldn't recommend using something with such a matte formula because you need that moisture in your skin, and when this kind of dries up, you, I mean, it will like catch on any dry patches in your skin and cause more flakiness or even make your dry patches more apparent. The MAC formula, I feel like it takes me a lot of time to blend. I feel like even though I'm using either a damp makeup sponge or a blending um, brush, like a stippling brush, I still feel like it just kind of sits and it takes me forever to move it around. And then I'm just making like more redness on my face and it's just not the best working consistency for me. I feel like it takes too much time, it's too much work, and it just doesn't leave the kind of finish that I prefer. So let's talk about the Revlon Color Stay. Now this is the oily to combination skin because I do have more oily skin. There is also a um, dry skin formula, so there's two different ones. The regular has a plain black top and the, um, or for the combination oily skin. And then for the dry skin, it still has like a clear casing around it. So there's a little bit of difference, so know when you're choosing the correct one. Now this one is very similar to the MAC in it has a little bit more of a fluid consistency. I feel like this one is super easy for me to just like blend throughout my skin whether I'm using my fingers, a, um, a makeup sponge, a damp beauty blender, or one of my stippling brushes. I feel like it's super easy to just kind of work around and I feel like because it's more of a like matte natural so it's not completely just like flat matte, it still has some of that moisture in there. So I feel like it has more of a buildability because it's not going to like dry and cake on top of each other. It just kind of like blends and you can work everything together. The difference between the MAC and this one is that this does not have a pump to it. So you do have to pour it 
out of your hand, which is kind of a bummer. So overall, my thoughts towards this one is that it is more on the expensive side. You do get the same amount of product, but I feel like my finish for this is just not what I'm looking for. I like coverage, but I don't like it to be like splotchy or not blended all the way through. And to be honest with you, I used half of this bottle and I broke out so severely it was ridiculous. Um, I didn't know what was going on with my face and my husband was like, why is your skin just like breaking out all over? This is my breakout zone all right here. And I literally was so broken out, it was ridiculous. So I knew that I hadn't changed anything up except for my foundation. So I went back to my previous one, which was my Revlon, that I know that I love, but I wanted to try a MAC product because I'd never tried this Pro Long Wear foundation. And I noticed right away my face completely cleared up. And looking at my face, I mean, I know how I have makeup on, but I didn't do any spot concealing. I think I have one blemish right here. I know I have one right here. And other than that, I might have one that's going away right there. Other than that, I'm used to, on the MAC, being broken out all over, just red all over. So, going back to this, it does not cause me to break out, which you have um, oily or acne prone skin. It's really important, you know what I'm talking about. I would say to just skip this product because I know I did break out. I know that every skin type is different and everyone has a different kind of variation of how it reacts to their skin but why take the chance in making a breakout when you can go for something that's similar it's easier to blend and it's like you know almost twenty dollars less is one of my favorite foundations I feel like it lasts all day when I'm working at the salon for 14 hours and it's crazy busy this stays with me all day and I know I can just depend on this foundation so versus a MAC Pro Longwear high-end quality foundation to a drugstore um, less price, you know, more a, a, on the lesser price side, I would say go for the Revlon, throw your MAC, toss it out. We don't need that. We don't want breakouts. And save your wallet a little bit of, you know, crying because this foundation is amazing. And just a little secret, it's in my makeup kit. So when I go and do people's makeup, this is the foundation that I use because I know I'm not going to get a bad reaction. It covers beautifully. It does not oxidize to any oranges or weird colors. And I have a variety of range so that I can kind of mix and formulate my own foundations. So thank you so much for watching this review. I'm sorry if you heard that jackhammer that's going on over there in the construction, but thank you anyway. Don't forget to check out some of my other tutorials and my last one, which is a gorgeous hair and makeup tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.